welcome to my channel to seek and to save. Someone once wrote, and I quote, the very nature of society is dynamic and changeable. No society is static. Every society changes and changes continuously. Old customs, traditions, folk ways, mores, values, and institutions get changed and new customs and values take place. Society changes from its traditional nature to a more modern nature. Hence, it is one of the most important characteristics of society to change. Close quote. Collectively, I'm sure we all want to feel as though we are a worthy contributor to our society today. So we join in together with all of our individual talents, skills, and expertise. In effect, in any given time in our human history, a generation would be naturally captive by their own society. Emphasis here on captive. However, for a Christian, we have a problem. As firstly mentioned, society changes from its traditional nature to a more modern nature through technology, medicine, science, education, and research, etc. And for me, all of this change is good and it is welcome. However, some very important aspects of what help build our society is fading away at an alarming rate. It seems in this generation, as it changes to modernize itself, has no longer the need to control its morality. So, within my generation, and I was born in 1948, looking back, I can see the good, the bad, and the ugly of this societal change. The good being the growth of technology medicine, science, education, and research, to name a few. I remember when you didn't have to lock your doors, when conversation included not a single cuss word, when right and wrong was well-defined common sense. And now the bad, being the things of God or the Christ, no longer being taught in our schools the ever-widening gray areas between what's right and what's wrong, good and bad becoming less and less discernible, pornography, drugs, reveling, divorce, covetousness, etc., etc., all becoming more acceptable. And finally, the ugly. The lack of morals in our society will continue to unfold in front of our eyes. A godless society being created in my generation. One in which it will be okay to lie if you can get away with it. You know the end justifies the means. Where the F-bomb is being used in almost every sentence. Where children can be taught to become the opposite sex. School teachers teaching the benefits of being a transvestite or effeminate. As seen in this YouTube video entitled Public School School Drag Show, August 2nd. 2018 and this YouTube video entitled Footage of a Full Drag Queen Show at Elementary School Leaves Parents Horrified, June 2nd, 2017. Drag Queen Reading Hour is a program that unsurprisingly has origins in San Francisco. What these events are is typically a local working drag queen will come into a private bookstore, 
or public library and do a reading for small children. Now these performers come in dressed in full drag as if they are performing at a drag show and they read to children for about 45 minutes to an hour. In fact, you don't have to spend very much time on their website to find testimonials from teachers who have had these events hosted in their public school. I felt compelled to read this testimonial to you aloud. What an amazing way to teach individuality, empathy, and acceptance. Drag Queen Story Hour gave my first graders a full and interactive platform to talk and think about social and emotional issues like acceptance, being yourself, and loving who you are through books, songs, arts, and crafts, and my personal favorite, movement activities. <laughs> they explored these issues and had an amazing time doing it. During our debrief after Drag Queen Story Hour, they were preaching the incredible lessons they had learned, like it's okay to be different, and there's no such thing as boy things or girl things. I was proud to be able to have DQSH at my school and will definitely be planning another story hour for next year. Drag Queen Story Hour allows preschool children to deepen and complicate their ideas about gender at the exact age when they are often developing rigid ideas on this concept. I would invite Drag Queen Story Hour back to my school anytime. Etc. Etc. There you go. The good, the bad, and the ugly. All unfolding in my generation. Because of this transition between traditional society and modern society. This being said, and it won't take a genius to figure it out in short time, where this is all going to next. In my generation, lawyers will be making money hand over fist. Individuals in our society suing one another for lies, half-truths, deception, breach of contract, divorce, misrepresentation, etc., etc. And this producing corrupted politicians and those that lord over us only for personal financial gain and where the health of their country society that elected them is the last thing on their mind leading of course to corrupted agreements with other countries and other societies that will only end up in war which is the ultimate end of any godless society <laughs>